Welcome back to a brand new episode. Welcome back to Tanzania. We're still in Tanzania and in this vlog we'll be exploring more of Dar es Salaam and it's going to be an epic day. First, we are heading to Tahmid offices in Kariakot to sort out our bus tickets. We accidentally booked the wrong bus to Nairobi and so we need to fix that. After fixing that, we'll be trying out some of the delicious delicacies of Tanzania. You don't want to miss that part. And then we will make our way to Kigamboni where we'll hop on a ferry, cross over to the other side, explore the beaches, and I hope you guys are excited for the episode so sit back relax and enjoy the episode. The cost of eating and moving around is very affordable. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Very true. And when you know the lingo, because in any case, um, if they realize that you're not a local, so they tend to hike the prices and all that. So but well, even when hiking, still, even still when not hiking, too much. Tier, it is relative. Yeah. We should learn how to gonga people. <laughs> we want to find our way to Kariako, which is where Tahumit buses, bus offices are. We are using the Twin Towers as the landmark. But right now we are at the city center. It is busy and rainy. It is a busy day and a rainy day. Yeah, so we want to find our way to Kariako. We use maps. not be that far from Kariako. Yeah. 1.2 kilometers away from Kariako. From the station. The, oh. Finally bought an umbrella. Me buy a moon again. There's a day we came here to buy SIM cards in, a, in an Airtel shop, which we were not successful. We ended up getting the SIM cards the following day in our color shop. Wakala shops are agent shops, these small, small to be banned as small shops on the roadside. Uh, they are agents for Vodacom, Airtel and, and Tigo. And this is, here is the Twin Tower. One of the tallest buildings in, one of the tallest and most iconic or beautiful buildings in Today in the morning I was saying I have not seen a supermarket in this city and I just saw one. It's called Dr. Mr. Discount. Mr. Discount Supermarket. No supermarket. Yeah. Like, like this chain, like Naivas chains, or Kapo, Nakumat, like this big chain that you see all over town. 
introducing one independent supermarket. You see another smaller independent supermarket. You don't see. You don't see the chain. The chain one. Yes. yes. building over here coming up it's still in construction which was shitty Durban but very very extremely budget friendly but I think we got corn shitty in what way like it's, it's, it's extremely basic it's, it's very basic we're here on a very, very, very tight budget. That's a good hotel. So, we're walking towards Karyoko. Karyoko, 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 Karyoko. At the time, it bus station. And we're using maps. So, we're being, we're being directed by the maps. Google Maps Tanzanian Maasai speak Swahili not Kimasai Swahili Swahili man Swahili 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 ya Mombasa Ah ya Tizedi Buses from Kenya drop people along these streets when they are coming from the country, and their office as well is located somewhere um, somewhere here. Tahmid. booking station we've not managed to change the tickets yet like the, we, we've managed to change in that we've already paid the fine that we've been told to pay of 900 Kenya shillings for the three of us we we are waiting for the Mombasa office to confirm and it is taking a bit too much time so we will be we'll have lunch first and then we'll go back to the office to we'll go back to the office to get the tickets or rather to get the confirmation i'm not sure where ben is and tony
So we came to this restaurant just next to the Tahmid offices to have lunch as we wait for our tickets to be confirmed by the Nairobi office. Our food cost us 8,000 Tanzanian shillings for each plate. That is around 370 Kenya shillings and approximately $3. This is the Tanzanians Tanzanian dishes. This is called Wali Makenge. Makange. Wali Makange. So Tony ordered fish. Boy, it looks delicious. The presentation as well, and I like that they serve with some veggies. does have that a little bit of salt like in its own so we are done with lunch uh, and it is finally hot like there's no sun but it is hot uh, as in it's not cold and it's not raining anymore now we are where is Ben going? Ben and end the um, now we plan to go to Kivukoni Ferry and we plan to cross over to the Kigamboni area, explore the Kigamboni area a bit. I've been saying every day that we'll go to PPF Tower, but we might do that later today, but not right now. Right now, we'll be using the ferry to cross over. I'm not sure if they allow people to film, but we will. I'll try to see what I can capture. Okay. Right, let me explain. Kigamboni district is a home to a vast white sand beach as well as many small resorts with restaurants and bars where you can relax, have lunch or a cocktail or even spend a night. To get to Kigamboni, you can use a car, but it would take you longer. The easiest way to get there is by ferry, which is where we are going to the Kivukoni area to get a ferry that will cross us to the other side. So we are really here, but our tuk tuk, our bajaj, has been stopped by police for 
for for crossing the zebra for not stopping at the zebra crossing and this is the fish market inside here it's the fish market I know we love fish, but the smell over here yeah, this is, is horrible, man. terrible fish smell. So that side is Kigamboni. So we want to cross over to that side. That's where Kigamboni is. What is? What is? So the most common form of transport around here is daladalas which is like matatus and then there is the mwendokasi which is the BRT buses and then there is the bajaj that's the tuk-tuks I think tuk-tuks are faster though not the most price cost effective I'd say not, not the cheapest bajaj I mean, uh, BRT costs 750 for two hours, and then in, in those two hours, you use the same ticket to go to uh, anywhere you uh, want. And then, the most interesting thing is that with uh, Daladela, like uh, the Machatu, everywhere you go is just uniform. The fare is 600, 600. shillings, and the BRT is 750. And the BRT is 7 so yeah, transport is very much fixed. Yes. Actually, yes, it's quite too much fixed. Whether it's rush hour, whether oh. it's yes. not rush hour. Gamboni. we just crossed over using the ferry they don't allow people to film so I did not film that part but we are coming from the other side of the channel now we are in Kigamboni we want to explore Kigamboni a bit and then we'll head back to the city center so this is what you find immediately you cross over Nini? Oh. You want to say something? No. So, by the way, we were given this card. Not given. We bought this card when we were crossing over to this side. This cost us 1,000 Tanzanian shillings. I have to go with it. Thank you. I was saying we bought 600 shillings, we bought the card at 1000 Tanzanian shillings and then for ferry crossing it's 200 to come this way and it will be per head and it will be 200 to go back. Still on Kigamboni vibes. The ocean is actually right after this building. Namishkaki, So, since we spent a lot of time at the Takimid office, and right now it's almost, I think it's already three, we are planning to go to beaches here in Kigamboni and then when we'll 
when we cross over back, we'll just go back home. We'll just go back home. So we are trying to find out what beaches are along this road here. Yeah. That's how we were not going to PPF towers for the second time. Sufuri Saba, Sita Tano. Sukuri moja Mbili tano I have not mastered my number yet So I have to keep confirming from my phone mm. We are getting the Bajaj number so that when we are when we'll be leaving we can call the driver to come for to come for us. Nibo? Tumeshkuru. I love the So we've come to Tumiambiwa in Ito, what beach? Malaika. Malaika beach. So, all private gates, all to access the beach along this road, you pay. So, Malaika, they charge 5,000. So, for each one of us, it's 5,000. So, that's 15,000 15, for each one of us. So, since we are not going to get the value for that money, since we are not coming for that so since we are only staying for less than 30 minutes we don't think it is reasonable for us to pay to access the beach so we're going to look for we've been told there are access roads that go to the beach so we're going to look to walk look for an access road that we can use to get to the beach then go to the beach and then stay for a few minutes and then go back to go back to Da. Yeah. That's the plan at least. And this will take us to the beach, but the road is terrible. <laughs> the road is sketchy. This baobab tree. But it's not baobab. This is a baobab tree. A baobab tree.
and we are finally at the beach Oops. so we are finally at the beach it is so quiet you can see twin tower all the way over there I'm not sure what these people are making I think they are for fishing oh the water looks so nice so clean so quiet so serene This looks amazing. Mm -mm. So Dar es Salaam is on that 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 skyline that you see over there beyond the waters. <laughs> It looks like a good place to swim because there is less noise. So is the name of this whole area Kigamboni Kigamboni Beach or is there even something like Kigamboni Beach but we are in Kigamboni like we crossed over the ferry we came to this side of Kigamboni so to go back we also need to cross over the ferry and go back to Kigamboni this place is so quiet and so serene Oh, you want to occupy. That's it with this video, guys. Um, what was your first impressions of Da? Da. Mm. Uh, da Kigamboni. So far. No, Kigamboni. I had a lot of expectations, but I think it's just regular place. Yeah. I think there are better places in. Da, there are better beaches than the Gamboni yeah, beaches. Gamboni. What and were you we're expecting? Going to be discovering tomorrow. I was expecting a touristic place, mm. busy place, cleaner place. By sort of giving those um, uh, what Nyali vibes. Yeah, yeah in, um, yes. along Nyali the way. Nyali Madiani. Uh, along the way, it looks like the Ani. The Ani vibes. Sort right. of, yeah, it looks like the Ani in Kenya. Diani, yes. Yeah, but okay, but unless maybe we haven't explored further, but there isn't so much to do. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't look like there's a lot to do here. Yeah. Yeah. I was also expecting more hotels. More hotels. Oh. Since like this whole road is a beach, is a beach road. Yeah. And what are what are your impressions of Da? Da is chilled. Chilled. Yeah, it, it, it's chill. Like <laughs> things are not moving as quickly here. As fast as mm. Nairobi, so it's just chilled, laid back. But carries the career Um It's cheaper here. The cost of 
eating and moving around is very affordable. Yeah, mm. that's true. Very true. And when you know the lingo, because in any case, um, you, they realize that you're not a local, so they tend to hike the prices and all that. Well. But even when hiked, it's still when not too much. Here, it is really well, We should learn how to bong at people. Ah, <laughs> where, where? <laughs> I think you, uh, Nairobi should learn how not to gong the people. Yes, thank you. Thank Be genuine. You. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also, I am, I am liking it here. Like to be honest, if I was given one more week around here, I would gladly take it. Yes, I would. I would gladly take it. Anyway, we are heading back home. It's been a long day. Most of the day today we spent it at the Tahmid office. Um, but yeah, I appreciate the fact that I, we've, we've been able to come all the way to Kigamboni. Now we need to go back to work. We need to go back home. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you get any value from this video. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.